am Sarah. I'm Sarah, I'm 47 years old, and I'm a visual artist. Can I have Miss Sarah? <laughs> Thanks. Hi there, <laughs> Dr. Colon, nice to meet you. Good to meet you. Happy to have you, have a seat and I'll follow you. So tell me what brings you in today. I have experienced migraines for most of my adult life and have been like relying on just a rescue medication since maybe 2012. And by um, rescue medication, you mean what, so, like over the counter? Oh, or? no, like a prescription that you take when the migraine is already in progress and it will stop the pain. But it's one of those medications you don't want to rely on too much. There is a really big difference between a headache and a migraine. Oftentimes, chiropractic will be used for intervention with migraines for a lot of reasons, making sure that the blood flow is being restored, circulation is being restored. And any other areas that you might have pain in your spine? So I've always had tightness, you know, in my jaw and neck. The, the migraine tends to come on with neck pain at the same time. I would describe it like as an ice pick headache. It's just a very sharp, very concentrated pain in one spot. Anything else here? Oh yeah, I wear a corset. <laughs> okay. Let's talk about that now. What kind of corset? <laughs> like a modern uh, steel bone waist like training. Like a lumbar support or like no. a corset corset? Like, no, a, like, a, like a cinching A cinching kind of... corset. OK, yeah. <laughs> there is nothing in the medical books that say, um, corset wearing, phone a friend. Can we do that? <laughs> How long are you wearing your corset? Um, like probably 16 hours a day. So, From a doctor's perspective, like there's no way that you can't think like, atrophy, weakness, how is that hindering the body? Is uh, there a, a rationale for this? Um, at this point, I'm pursuing a record. <laughs> a record for what? Do like I hear? the Guinness. <laughs> like the actual Guinness Book of World Records? Yeah. So the living Guinness Book World Record for the smallest corseted waist is 15 inches. And I am down to regularly wearing a comfortable 16 inches. If you wouldn't mind, I'll have you kind of stand up for me here. I'm going to have you. If you're comfortable, do you like have anything? I do, yeah. Okay. Just, like, sports. just go ahead and kind of this row. Let's see what we're, we're working with now. <laughs> yeah. When Sarah mentions the corset, I was definitely not thinking this. I didn't know what to think, to be honest. Oh, yeah. OK. I've never done anything like this. Where the heck are her organs? Now that I'm looking at her and see how tiny her waist is, I'm like, oof, where does everything go? Where is the kidney? Where is the liver? Where are the intestines? I mean, this is wild. So this one's okay. a 17 inch one. That's not my tightest. For waist to be this small, it's really going to affect how the system works. So I also want to check out her spine. We might come across some problems. 